All right, I have five o'clock, so I'll call to order the Hartford City Council for its September 24th, 2020 meeting at five o'clock. Um, we'll have an invocation this time we all about. Father, I thank you that you've given us today to live, Father, and enjoy your blessings. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to live in this country. We pray for our country, Father. We pray for its leadership. I just pray, Father, that you'll help us through this pandemic. Father, help us to make it through the turmoil of, that we're experiencing. And just pray, Father, that you'll work in those situations. We thank you for the opportunity to gather and to make decisions for the city of Hartford. We just pray for your guidance, Father, and pray that it's all done according to your will. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, Vesters. Would you like to say something tonight? Just visiting. Just okay, visiting. just spectating, all right. Uh, Jeff, you want to go ahead and talk? I can. Uh, I don't think I made enough copies tonight. Sure. You don't have to go So uh, for the month of September, you can tell there are the first two entries. We got a couple holdovers coming from uh, last month, August. Uh, still, uh, this is the second uh, citation sent Miss uh, Taylor there on on Walker Street. Uh, they they have cleaned up a little bit, but it's still it's still out of out of ordinance there. And then uh, the uh, property there on Locust Street. Uh, Miss Johnson, the Johnson's property, which we, it come back, Lisa was telling me today, it came back undeliverable, which I think there's nobody living nobody there. Nobody lived there for years. Right. And then uh, we did have a, a pretty good uh, last month with uh, a bunch of the inoperable vehicles that were sitting around. Uh, there's still a couple on here, three on here that uh, we found, found out some more. But, uh, the one, Miss Mary Bell, that you was telling me about there on Render Street, it's good. It's it's gone now. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess you're gonna let Colleen know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure she sees it. It's gone she there. She owe me for this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a a lot of them is still some of the same. Uh, you'll if you notice some of the same uh, names and same properties are on here. You know they'll take care of it and then uh, they'll go a couple weeks without. Uh, just like uh, Marty Shepard, I, I think that's one of his uh, rental properties. Uh, it was, uh, the yard was, last month you'd see there's a bunch of rubbish in the yard, and he, he had said that uh, one of his tenants were moving out. But uh, it's, the trash had been picked up, but the yard is well over 10 inches there. And then uh, another big one uh, is uh, the, the one there, on Clay Street, uh, the Bratchers, uh, I think they live next door to you, uh, Jerry. That uh, there's a, and I asked the uh, asked the ladies down here to check and see if he had an active uh, water account, you know, for sewage pickup and, and trash pickup, and they they said he did, but it cleaned up a little bit, and then I guess they just piled the trash on the carport. So that's the one that's. Uh, and behind the house. Yeah, and behind the house. Uh, so that's that's a big one there. It's it's reoccurring. But uh, unless there's any questions, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I say, a lot of you'll see excessive weeds and grass, and uh, some of them's been mowed. They, so not really a, a real busy busy month, but there's a few on there. Yeah, I think the little red door hanger scared some of them into action. So. It is, yeah. yeah. All right. That's all I have unless you have any questions. 
Yeah. All right. We appreciate appreciate your efforts. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Ashley, you want to speak tonight? You're a visitor, and it's time for visitors to speak if they want. Um, I'll, I'll You'll wait and speak later? I defer to Mary, though. Okay. I'll, I'll available for questions after, okay. after her time. All right, then. If there's nobody else wishing to speak, then we'll go into the minutes of our previous meeting. Take a look at those and see if you have any... Deletions, additions, changes, anything to be made to those. So on the um, the motion made by Gary Snodgrass to close the remaining portion of White Avenue, I think the motion was just made to start to draft up the ordinance. Mm -hmm. That it hasn't been closed yet. Because at the time, I don't even think they owned all the property around that. They were just a couple days from closing. I say it again now. This, the second to the last one. Yeah. It says motion was made by Jerry Snodgrass to close the or to close the road. Right. The ordinance has just now been drafted up. That was on right. We had to have a motion to to draft the ordinance. That's yeah. So that should be, it should reflect to draft the ordinance. Okay. <clears throat> Any others? I'll make a motion when accept the minutes as stated. All right. Second. Okay. With well, that change. All right. Any discussion? All in favor, lifted hand. Thank you. Motion's carried unanimously. All right. Uh, Tara, what do you got going on? Nothing independent of you what? Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Our other projects are in the works. Right. So. Okay, uh, take a look at the financials, and once you feel comfortable, I'll entertain a motion concerning them. I'll make a motion to accept the financial statement. All right, for a second. Second. Okay. It's either Jerry or... Okay. Any discussion regarding financials? All right, seeing none, all in favor of a motion, uplifted hand. Thank you. Motion's carried. Thank you. Um, we come to old business. What was the downtown lights about? No, we just we just did that one. Okay. Yeah, we just did we, that. we figured that out. It doesn't need to be there, so we got that figured out now. Uh, so we'll open the floor for new business. Uh, first item I see there is the first reading for the tax. You have that at the back of your ordinance 2020 04. Uh, I will point out that the real property tax went down slightly. It went down from 40.9 to 40.5. And that's just because our evaluations went up and the compensating rate went down to, we'll actually realize a slight increase in our revenue, but not enough that we'll notice it. Uh, the tangible and the Watercraft are the same rates that we had last year. So if somebody will give us the first reading on Ordinance 2020-04. Kenny, you want to read that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. An ordinance, uh, ordinance number 2020-04, an ordinance leveling at valorium tax for general municipal purposes for the fiscal year uh, January 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2020 on all tax property within the taxing jurisdiction of the city of Hartford on each $100 of fiscal year 2020 assessed valuation as follows on real estate property 40.5 cents tangible and on personal property 29.25 cents motor watercraft 22.8 cents including real and personal properties of public service companies. All right. So we've had the first reading on that. 
we'd like to have the second reading before the next council meeting. Okay, so we we need a special call meeting uh, sometime around the first of next week. We can't, can't have it tomorrow because we haven't notified. Uh, but um, is Monday a good day for everybody? For us to have them Monday. It, I mean, it'll, it'll be five minute meeting. We won't even pray. <laughs> <Trading off. laughs> All right. Yeah, Monday's good. Monday uh, 28th at 5. Yeah. So we'll set it then for Monday the 28th at 5 o'clock here and just have the second reading. We'll notify. You want to take up a second reading of this at the same time? Do you want? We can have a second reading of that as well, of the closing of White Avenue once we get to it. All right, then. Um, now comes the fun part. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll amend our uh, agenda. And Mary Bell, you wanted to speak. You had something you wanted to bring up tonight. Well, yeah, I had a question too. Do what now? And I had a question. I also have a question about not what I'm speaking about, but so this thing I got from the city of Hartford. Yeah. Did we meet on this, or did? Well. We we okayed them to to uh, share their mailing with people. It came out a little bit different than what we had initially okayed because it may look like we sponsored it yeah. and, and we don't, you know. And we've had several phone calls from people and we've straightened them too. straightened them out, told them what the situation was. Uh, I've had people come into office and sit down and talk about it and. Uh, well, what's the situation? Is the city recommending this? No. Are city we? is not taking any stand on it whatsoever. They just asked, can we mail this out to your water customers? And we said, yes, it'll be all right. They I think we discussed it. To, I think we've discussed it yeah. in a meeting before. They were not supposed to put it as though it was coming from the city of Hartford. And apparently they did. And that yeah. has led to a lot of confusion and, and concern. I didn't hear one. Yeah, I didn't get one at all. There's even a note here that is unsigned. The city of Hartford, Kentucky, about this whole thing, and it bombs the city of Hartford. Right. Well, somebody needs to tell them they don't send out mail with our name. Well, names. it's hard to unring a bell. <laughs> it you might know. be, but. I know. Um, I don't think they're going to find very many customers. They'll find a few, but I don't think they're going to find enough to make it. It's a very interesting proposition because of the water line at, you know, the city. Oh, yeah. Outside. You know, and they're doing it. I've had numerous cousins. I don't know what to tell you people. Well, you can tell them the mayor's not doing it, okay? But, <laughs> well, I but it's, a, it's like any other insurance. Yeah. Yeah. It's like any other insurance. It has to be a decision that person makes individually whether they want that or not. You know, some people chose Aqualine and some people did. Uh, same thing is true about this. It offers a little more extensive coverage both in the water line and the sewer line, but it also charges a lot more. So, I mean, it's a decision people have to make, you know, yeah, whether they want it or not. In kind of bad shape. Might be worth it. Do what now? You had an older house that's oh, yeah. been there a long time. Yeah, my house was 55 years old, you know, but. But there's some that's a lot older than that. Yeah. I will say that the corporation that is offering this program, they actually are, um, I believe, a subsidiary of the National League of Cities. And um, I think they did come to a meeting yeah, and, and discuss with the council. It's been a while. March the 26th. But uh, was this the, year? Yeah. They sent the proposed letter. In fact, letter. you're the one who made the motion to allow to, <laughs> to bail it. If you were snoring at the time, but I don't know if you saw it. I didn't I realize what, what still upsets me is them sending it out with 
city of Hartford is returning. They sent us. They sent us uh, a letter. This is what we're going to send out, and we made some changes to it. You know, we said we. It looked like we were sponsoring it and all this kind of endorsing it, and we made changes to it and said this is what we don't want. You know, you can send it to people, but don't put our name, you know, with it, but then they go ahead and send it out. So uh, we're not doing anything to try to help sell. We're not trying to do anything to help hurt them. You know, we're just answering people's questions. And I tell them. Hey. It's very, it's a, it's a, the program itself is uh, similar to the Aqualon program. I and, know. Yeah. And they did send a letter out and what the proposed letter was. And George and I both responded and said we did not want it to be put on Hartford letterhead. And, you know, we just so that made up their own. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think it. I don't think it'll likely be a partnership that's renewed. Yeah. Okay. Now you had something else you want. Was there anything else you want to bring up? Are we supposed to sign up this online thing that they send all this stuff out on? Kentucky League of Cities. Oh, it's going on this week. There. Yeah, are we supposed to sign up and do something with that? Is it the annual meeting? Is that what that one is? I don't know what it is. I'm it's, not ready. It's, huh? it's continuing education. It's so continuing education. So Robert was asking if they had attended. Oh, okay. Includes meaningful and informative speakers. Yeah, I think it has to do with uh, KLC's annual meeting. It's been done uh, online rather than in person. But it's going on this week, I believe. Yeah. It costs, it costs some money. That's something that we haven't had before. I mean, when you go, you pay a, a registration fee, you know, but this, you can sign up pay for whatever, whichever ones you want to attend yeah. or sit in on. Hmm. Okay, you ready for me now? Yeah. You're sure? I am. <laughs> I've been trying to give you a chance here for 10 minutes. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> the uh, Economic Development Committee has re- uh, restarted our meetings since the COVID process. We haven't met at all. And we met last, uh, the last two weeks to start a discussion on what we thought we would want to do. But one of the first things we'd like to do is have the council and mayor give us permission to take our money to transfer to the general fund or wherever George sees fit to have a lot survey that is up there by Ellis Park. It's the one that used to have an old house on it. Well, my understanding, they can't find any owners, and it's a matter of getting it surveyed, which as we all know now costs an arm and a leg. And the Economic Development Commission is willing to put that money up. The city of Hartford had a survey done, so they will own that lot. Well, we'll have to we'll have to go through a court process with it too, which the we have a lien on that lot. Right. We'll have to go through a court process to enforce. But that's right. And so we're here asking for your permission to do that. Is that that that's lot the there is a four-way stop? Yes, it's a three-way. Yes, right there. It's, it's a three-way stop. Yeah, catty quarter from the playground. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right there yeah. on okay. Smith Street. Okay. I thought we already owned that. If you remember, Jerry, years ago, the family gave us permission to proceed with tearing down the house and our lien to, to pursue that, mm -hmm. but we did not because they never could find a deed. Um, the deed had been lost in the records, which is not uncommon, unfortunately, in that area of town. Yeah. So it would have to be surveyed in order to pursue that. It's down our cross street from Richard. Yes. Oh, no, 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 not, not across the street, down the corner. From Richard. It's over by the three-way stop. The lot, lot in that curve. It's where, you know how Smith Street comes in toward Ellis Park. Well, right there at that stop, it's right there on the on the right hand side. 
It was all grown up. It's not, there's a lot on the corner that's cleaned off, but this is next to it. Right. Between the lady treasure. Uh -huh. Well, it's, yeah, it's next to her property. Yeah. yeah. Is it the Rucker? Is that next the to Ms. Rucker's property. Okay, so then it would it be uh, the George Carter yes. property? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Carter. Part and we spoke with the Carter heirs, and, and because at the time the house was in such poor condition, it was it was condemned, and they agreed to this. It's just we haven't been able to pursue it because without a legal description, we haven't been able to pursue the land. So. That's yes, where Peachy Stewart used to live years ago. Then. It was. I don't. I remember where he lived. But. You remember Peachy? Don't I you? know Biggin. Adrian. Adrian. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, we digress, so. These old people do that. Yeah, I need a motion to uh, pursue this matter. I'll make the motion. Okay, second. and second. All right, is there any discussion to it? Anybody want to more elaboration on it, or? I'd like to follow up a little bit on it. Pardon? I'd like to follow up a little bit on it. Okay. Like I said, the EDC has been meeting again to see what we think we can do to help Hartford uh, preserve Hartford as a small community, but with accessibility to the different things. And we started uh, talking about Ellis Park. Now, we, we've uh, spent a little bit of time talking about this, and we would like very much to see improvements cleanups, replacements, and maybe additional activities up there. However, we've got a long way to go and we want to involve the community and we would like for each of you all to be involved. Um, we can't do it by ourselves and without support from as many people as we can get, we won't be successful at that. Right now, Hartford, I mean, when I babysit with my great, great, or any of it, nieces and nephews. I used to take them out to the county park to play because it was the safest and cleanest at the time. Wasn't much there, but things like that. We, we've discussed many things, but what we're planning on doing to involve the community is to, well, it's ready to go, I think, as soon as we, get the council's approval. We have prepared these these ideas and we're going to put it on the web page and on the website. Ashley Smith has uh, written or has proposed those ideas and we would like to get the city and the citizens and as many people as access the uh, the website to fill out a little questionnaire if they would like some of the same ideas that we have thought of and to propose additional ideas. One of the things we would like to do is have a wean roast up there and invite the community have just whatever we can think of and whatever we could do. Nothing elaborate, hot dogs and a, a bun and something to drink. Marshmallows. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> they want the whole s'mores business, you know. Duncan Booth and put George in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> Again, like more. I said, we want your all's help on this. And as part of that, if you give us permission, we're also asking that the council allow George to take money from our account to pay for things that we may need getting ready for this event and hopefully to move on. You know, I, I personally would like to see a community task force that would like to get involved and do something. I mean, I, I think that little park's perfect. It is. If we can get it taken care of, get mm -hmm. new equipment, get new, get it cleaned, rearrange some things maybe, 
I think that one thing Hartford could use for the smaller kids in the stands is a water park. Yeah. I mean, I've been after one of those since I was on the council way back when. Yeah. And but there's numerous things, but those that comes with the territory. Tara, do you want to add anything with that? Um, I, I think you've covered it. I'm, I know that Ashley has kind of put together a proposal for an event maybe around November 7th. Right. Um, to, to do like the, the bonfire and, you know, one of the big things that was discussed at the EDC meeting is we feel that this is a big community push. This isn't just Hartford deciding this is what should be there. We want the community involved in, in what they want to see because there's no sense in recreating something they have five miles down the road when we could have something different that's unique that that and, serves the community here. And we're not trying to come compete with anyone. We know we can't. We're too small. We don't have that kind of money. But George has been generous with us and we want to reinvest that in the community and maybe make some people happy. I, you know, I'd like to see some picnic tables if we get them and more benches to sit down and let, I mean, I don't even have any kids, but I can think of a lot of things the kids would like to do. Because I still like to do it. But like, like I said, part of that is this. And of course, we need, we need money. Part of the future of this project will depend a lot on grants. A lot of them will come from the Department of Health, Agriculture, places like that. And the one thing we will have to do is provide proof that we are a smoke-free, drug-free community. Or at least an employer. Yeah, and, or an employer, yeah. Now, do you all remember what all I wanted? Mm -hmm. You might want to take that. <laughs> I Thank hope you all know. come up with some more ideas and really get involved with this because it, it set the community out of date. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to interject real quick. You still have a motion on the table regarding the Carter lot, if you all yeah. want to vote on that and then take up the separate issue yeah. before we get too lost. Okay. Give you first and second. It comes from a committee. Well, actually, it's not a committee of, of ours. You, you made the motion. It was like Who made the motion? I certainly. Okay. Voted. You got that? You know who now? Are you talking survey? For the, yes, the, for survey. the survey of the Sky party. Yeah. The 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of surveying the lot. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know that we ever voted. I don't have that. No, we I haven't yet. Go ahead we and haven't. take that one up before we get too convoluted. Yeah. yeah. We got sidetracked here. She got started and couldn't get stopped. All right. <laughs> All in favor of, of the surveying? Okay, motion. All right, the motion carried. All right, now then, go ahead. Well, the second part is being able, if we get started and we need a gallon of paint, we had to have to wait for another council meeting to come in, get you all to agree to let us transfer the money if we could. And now we're not talking about big sums of money, and I, I think George would stop us. I mean, he's not going to let us. I think I'm tight. I know you are. <laughs> I can't spend what I haven't got. <laughs> but it would be important if we're going to move with this and try to continue making progress toward next spring. And there will be some cost in buying some hot dogs and marshmallows and graham crackers and I've got what else goes on with s'mores? Chocolate. Chocolate. you got to yeah. get chocolate. Okay. I've got to limit 2,500. Uh, yeah. I think, I think just to, and to clarify too, what Maribel is seeking is permission for the EDC to move forward with the Ellis Park project and, and seek the community support and do this, um, and, and to do this uh, uh, event. Essentially, yes. Yeah. The, the event is just a small portion of the overall project. The idea is that the Ellis Park project would be uh, potentially a multi-year project, but it would start uh, with your permission this month with that needs assessment. We would have the event in the, the first couple of weeks of November. We're tentatively looking at the 7th, so that's pending the park and then um, you know what other organizations we can get engaged on that date. 
that we would release the results of the NAICS assessment. And at that event, that's kind of the kickoff for this larger project where we have information that we've sourced from the community about what the community wants to see there. And then we begin looking at grant opportunities and um, you know, engineers, what, what we need to do to make that come, come to be. And essentially the motion would be to allow George as the mayor to work with the EDC and appropriate those funds, funds. so that we can accomplish that without having to come and seek permission for every dollar spent. Well, there's a bunch of us been wanting that park fixed up for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've, we've got plans to redo the big field at the end of October, right. bring it up to Little League standards. So that there's a group that's already uh, committed to that. Yeah. But the playground equipment is terrible up there. I yeah. mean, there's only, what, two or three things for them to play on? Yeah. And, and one they, swing they looks told, like it got hung. It was uh, yeah. slid. Uh, Slide board down. It's gone. Yes. <laughs> so, more to that. Uh, There's um, yeah. the, the equipment there is not safe for the kids, probably, as they are six. Um, it comes down from smaller children. Yeah, my mistake, if I'm not mistaken, the session stand there, I heard, I don't know if y'all heard this, but they said that the, oh, Anyway, they said it was too close to the restrooms. It was something about the session stand. But we'll, we'll have to look in that. Yeah. And plus, is it handicap accessible? Right. See, we've got, we've got to worry about ADA, too. Right. I think the primary overarching project right now, though, is to kind of identify what the community wants, what's uh -huh. feasible, and then developing that plan mm -hmm. to, to make some things happen. It's, it didn't get that way overnight. It's no. not going to get repaired no. overnight. No, you know, it's no, gonna it's going to be a long, take long time. process. You know, I, re I really like this. This is something Ashley came up with for us. Um, if we could hang this in all of the windows downtown and at yeah. every store in Hartford, there are a lot of people still who don't go to the Hartford's website because they don't know about it. But I think we need to also cover our bases if we could fix something like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, it's, a, it's a total drop. It would be easy to, to get to somebody to print and say. <laughs> I think I know a printer. Well, I can uh, donate that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's that all? Yeah, it's that all. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I think you're right, and that's what we had, um, I think, further probably down on the list that she has is engaging with a myriad of other entities in the community and utilizing those to help get people engaged. So working with um, the schools, Wayland and the middle school and high school. But also we talked about that although this is for Hartford and it's in Hartford, we would like to engage other people as well. Right now, um, Beaver Dam's uh, baseball leagues are using it, the, the park and practice field. We'd like for them to continue to do that, so to source information from them as well. But to engage um, in, in multi-layers, not just on the web page, but to kind of utilize this to drop people back to the web page and then engage with as many people as possible in it. So, for Lisa's sake, I'm going to try and summarize Mary Bell's motion, which Thank is, you. yes. I summarized that. She basically allowed me to, <laughs> to. To allow George to oversee the EDC implementing the Ellis Park project. As, as far as funds. and as, Yes, as far as funds and implementing these ideas as well as an event to come up in November. Yeah. I'll Good. second All right. Mary Bell's motion. Thank you. All right. Any discussion to the motion? Well, I just, as a citizen, I think it's a great idea. You know, I've, I've been, I've been on a couple of the commission, commissioners about the park and everything. Uh, first, what I would like to see is, and I know they volunteer their time and, and mow it, and the city, and the guys at the city, they mow it. But I've taken my granddaughters up there and. We're just covered in grass if we're out there playing, you know. So, and I always say, Jordan, that mows the 
uh, Oakwood Cemetery, he does a great job. That bank, you go by there and that bank looks awesome. Million dollars. But then you look at the city park bank over there and it's, it's disheartening that it's in that shape. Uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know the funding that the, the city has, maybe they could maybe contract that out, maybe see if Jordan would want to mow that park, you know, uh, just an idea. But he does sure. an awesome job, I know, on Oakwood Cemetery, and I don't know what he would charge maybe to you well, know, and contract it, that either. But it's not like this is going to be a one-year thing. Yeah, right. It's like okay. Ashley said, this is going to continue on. And the more improvements we make, the more we're going to draw the people to get more ideas yeah, and uh, investment in it. Yeah, I agree with it. And there, my granddaughter is is under two, and you know there wasn't a whole lot for her to do up there. Yeah. You know, swing, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, that was about it. But uh, I, I, I'm all for it. As a citizen of Hartford, I'm 100 behind you. Well, or I signed up to volunteer. I, I think that's the purpose I, of yeah, this. We've already event. got the number. <laughs> But I think that's the purpose of this event is to give people input into into maintenance, upkeep, uh, what needs to yeah. be added, things yeah, like that. Yeah, and I'm not take, I'm not trying to take anything away from the city employees. Mm -hmm. Well, some of that, some, we're mowing somebody else's property up there too. Sometimes, yeah, right, you yeah. know, we yeah. don't mow everything. Yeah, right. So. And, uh, but nothing against the city employees or nothing yeah. like that. Yeah. But, yeah. But like well, we were all talking about it. I mean, you know, the. Uh, the seats they have, they look terrible. Yeah. I mean, I think probably some good paint would make them look 100% better. The bleachers? Yeah. Well, I some know, of them are probably broken, but. I do, I do some umpiring over at Beaver Down for the softball uh -huh. league. And I know that the Beaver Down parks had to remove all the bleachers and stuff because of COVID and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So I don't know if that's something that we might, you know, you've got to yeah. need to look at. There too. Okay, that goes on that needs assessment. So that's a, definitely a thing to bring up. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to call for the question. And all in favor of the motion, I've looked at hand. Thank you. Motion's carried. All right. Thank you. Need to be cleaned up around. Now you want me to go too. to the second page? You know where I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> You've had your 15 minutes of pain. <laughs> all right. Um, Let's go down to uh, B on the new business, uh, water pump. Uh, we had a problem down at the water plant. We had to use our uh, portable pump and uh, a drain hose on our radiator blew. Uh, no one was around, so it drained and got hot. And um, the engine basically is ruined. It's uh, the heads are warped in the block, and so um, it's been over in the, our usual home away from home for our pump over in Evansville. And they're saying that uh, it would cost more to repair it than it would be to replace the engine on it with a comparable engine. It's a diesel engine. Uh, it's only about 24 horsepower or something like that, but it it runs oftentimes for 24 hours or not not that long, but it, it will run for 10, 12 hours while they're pumping when our other pumps are down. So um, I bring that information to you. Secondarily, we have voted at one time to buy uh, standby another pump, you know, a substitute pump, just in case the main one went down. And uh, we okayed a certain expenditure there, but when we got to looking at it, it was a gas engine, didn't feel comfortable with, uh, with it. Of course, the prices have gone up. We never did buy. And so, uh, talking with Leon, uh, he's got a quote from this same company for a second pump that would be a replacement pump when this first one would be down. So uh, we're talking some money here to replace the engine on the first pump. Uh, it's going to cost us 
$15,797.50, and that's what that's going to give us is uh, they had to put an all-new seal kit on the pump. The engine is 13000 and uh, the labor, and there's an environmental fee of $12.50. Anyway, it comes to $15,797.50. Uh, I'm not sure I haven't seen the bill for the rental on this pump that we've got now but uh, this will bring our pump up to up to the standards you know where they can depend on it and so I'm recommending spending that amount of money uh, to put a new engine on our pump and rep and replace the seal kit on or put a seal kit in in our pump so, How often do we use it? Do what? How often do we use it? Well, we've been pretty fortunate. Uh, I don't think we've, I don't know every time that they use it. Uh, we haven't, we've gotten by without having to use it, but when we do need it, you know, when our other pump goes down, we don't have any water unless we use it. So I would say probably, I'd have to ask Leon, but I think in the last six months, we've maybe have used it once, twice, something like that. Not, but it's not very often. It's when the when they need to work on the pumps, the main pumps in uh, the plant, that they have to use that. Um, you know, if our intake gets clogged up or anything like that, if high water clogs it up, they have to use this pump because uh, our intake gets clogged, and so um, it's not very often. What's but in do what now? What's involved in renting one for the time that we need You you almost pay as much as you pay this much probably our bill for renting one is probably going to be this long because we we send it to that company, and they're repairing it. Well, they've got get parts that they don't. They don't do it overnight, you know, and so. Um, sometimes it's. 20, I don't remember how much. Sometimes it's like twenty eight hundred a, a week. Yeah. And it can be up to thirty six hundred a week. It just yeah. depends on. Uh, the lowest I've seen is eighteen hundred a week. It. I mean, it's pretty expensive. Need to pump I don't know how long you need one. <laughs> I'll make a motion to repair the pump. Go ahead and repair it. All right. Second the motion. Okay. Uh, any more discussion to this? So the, you're putting the in, the new pump on the engine and the new seal kit on the same in, on the same pump. Or well, two the pump things? itself has to have a seal kit in it. Okay. But then the the engine that drives the pump is what we're replacing. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a it's a Yanmar industrial engine, 24-horsepower, 24 okay. uh, diesel, diesel-powered. You only run it 10 hours at a time? Yeah, because they usually can fill up. If we need a pump that can pump something like 650, gallons a minute okay that's what we normally are pumping out of the river to operate the plant and uh, they usually within about a eight to ten hour stretch can process enough water to make it through to the next day that's the way they operate so that pump down there wouldn't have to operate except like the main pumps would, you know, because it produces, it'll pump about the same amount, about 600, 650 gallons a minute is what it will pump. Uh, so, you know, about a shift is what, what it is. Uh, you know, they'll start it at the beginning of the shift and run it, and then at the end of the shift, they'll, they'll go ahead and shut it down you know, and refuel for the next day and everything else. But that's not just day after day for... Do what now? That's not day after day for 
weeks at a time. Well, as long as the main pumps are down, you know, for repairs or, you know, cleaning or whatever they have to do, you know, that's how long they have to operate it. Uh, if we have a, a failure at the, at the pump, it may take us, you know, a week or two to get parts for it and get it repaired. So uh, it could be a process of weeks, you know, that it has to operate while we're getting the main pumps repaired. So now I'm talking to you like I'm an authority on all this stuff and I'm not, but that, that's what I, that's what I understand, when you know. When was the last time you ran it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I knew that much about it, I'd get certified to make some money, real money, <laughs> you know, rather than this mayor pay. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, we have a motion and a second. Is there any more discussion regarding that? This is to uh, replace the engine on our pump, okay? So all in favor, uplift, thank you. Now then, comes the second question. Do we want to keep renting it if, when this one has to be repaired again? Do we want to keep renting or do we want a secondary pump to use when this one goes down? A, a secondary one would cost us $23,913.50. That's just a little less than 24000 so do you want to purchase a spare pump or do you want to go ahead and pay but rental you, fees when we have to rent a pump? But you are, it's already approved for you to do that. No, it's a, Back. well, it was approved to purchase one, but it was approved at only $14,000. Okay. All right, so yeah. the question is, do you want to pay the, the tw almost $24,000 to get a, a similar pump to what we've got now? That's the question I'm asking you. It'd be better than renting. Well, when, when we rent, they're not in much of a hurry to repair ours. Right. Right? right. Okay. Uh, they do get it to us, mm -hmm. but it may be a week or two that we have to rent. And we wouldn't have to rent very many times before it would pay for a second pump right. that's ours. Right. Yeah. I, I, smart, can I speak something here from a history standpoint? Uh, there's, well, there's, and I, it's nothing to me either way, but the, it, historically, when we send it off for the, that week and we get it back, we use, it has happened over and over and over. You usually get to use it one day. Hmm. And it almost always goes back the second time. And I don't know why that is. I'll but also, the, it's like they didn't actually fix it. I'll also remind you that it, there was a period of time where we were renting a pump for almost a year and it cost us thousands of dollars a, did. a month. It did. Your money mm -hmm. ahead to purchase one. Wow. Yes. Well, it makes sense On to this me. particular yeah. water pump, yeah. It makes sense to me that this city ought to be in a position, if we can afford it, to have backups for just about everything and anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, I don't think it's ever been done. To me, that ought to be part of the maintenance strategy right. for this city to, to not get in a bind again. I'll make the motion that we go ahead and buy the new motor or engine. Or secondary. Secondary. Second. Okay. All right. Any more discussion to it? Okay. All in favor, uplift the hand. Okay. Thank you. What was that for? The 23? Now we would need to talk estimate? about where the money is coming from. Is that an estimate 23? Pardon? Is that an estimate that 23? No, that's actual quote. Okay. All right. Uh, money comes out of which fund? We don't have any fund, and we don't have any money in the water fund, so it better come out of occupational taxes. <laughs> Golf, cart tax. huh? Golf cart tax. Golf cart tax. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it consensus that we take it out of occupational tax? Yes. 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 Is that right? Yes. Okay. So is, is, Scoggins, is Scoggins amending your motion yeah. <coughs> for the funds to be from occupational tax? Yes. Yeah. 
Ann Fisher. We appreciate it because it makes them breathe a little better to know that they've got plenty of pumps to keep the water flowing and it's not costing us an arm and a leg. All right. Um, I have a few extra issues. Yeah. Appreciate that. Uh, do first reading on that. Okay. Yeah, I've got. Okay. I've got, three, right. I've got it down. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, we have two areas that uh, need regular maintenance. One of them is the walking trail and parking lot down at the boat ramp. And the other one is the walking trail along Oakwood Drive. And these need to be sprayed, you know, for the blacktop to be preserved. All right, we need to, like you do your driveway. Seal it. Okay. Seal it. Pardon? Seal it. Yeah. Now, we can do the walking trail at the boat ramp and the parking lot. Um, Adam Allen is one that uh, always does our work here in town. We can do that for about, he estimated about $4,500 to $5,000 to do parking lot and that. And about the same amount to do the walking trail on Oakwood from the school all the way up to Ellis Park. And um, I don't know if you walked that recently, but mm -hmm. any of that, if we're going to try to preserve it and keep it, yeah. needs to be sealed, you know, before yeah. winter. Right. You have to for 50 years. Pardon? You have to for 50 years on that grant. Yeah. That walking trail. Okay. My clerk informs me that we have to because there's a 50 year mm -hmm. grant that we have to maintain it for 50 years. So we're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of nine to ten thousand dollars to do both projects. Okay, so uh, I'm making a recommendation that we do both projects at that rate and get Adam to do it. Take the funds out of occupational tax. I'll make the motion we do both the projects. Go ahead. All right, just take your pick. I'll second the motion. Then see. Yeah, he made a motion. He seconded. <laughs> All right, is there any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, we have two engineering bills. We've already okayed paying one of them, and it actually ended up being less than what we okayed. Uh, the last meeting we... Over 20. Let me to get bids because it's over 20,000. Do what? That's over twenty thousand. So I thought that's what you were requesting. Was so you want the to motion for the bids? Make them separate motion. Thirty. I can take thirty. Thirty is the bid limit. Did they up it? Yeah. 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 Thirty. Thirty is the bid limit. Thirty on the city yeah. now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. We're playing with old laws. Okay. <laughs> hey, right. Take learn them nothing. Long <laughs> week, guys. It's been a long week. <laughs> Okay. They need a new learning. I need a nap. <laughs> and the second was West Coggins. Um, <laughs> Before you were rudely interrupted. I would point out that uh, at the last meeting in your minutes, uh, David Coleman made a motion to pay $6,500 for engineering cost of water service management from the occupational tax fund. The bill is only the only thing we owe right now is fifty six fifty. That's all we owe on that particular bill. But to do Russell to do Russell Court, there's a five thousand dollar engineering fee that we need to also pay out of occupational tax. So I just need a motion to pay that five thousand dollar occupational tax fee to the water water management for I'll Russell Court. All right, the second. All in favor? Any discussion? Thank you. All right, motion carried. We have an, a second ordinance here that we need to consider tonight, first reading, and that's Ordinance 2020-05. 
Um, it's to close White Avenue. We had made a motion to do that. She prepared that, but then somebody want to read 20-05? 20, 20 Go ahead. An ordinance to close the remaining portion of White Avenue located between Gillespie Avenue and the Country Avenue. I think Gillespie's a street, isn't it? Isn't it Gillespie's, Gillespie's street? Yeah. Is it? Okay. I yeah. can change that between first and second. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Avenue Street. They're both 30 feet wide. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the first reading on it. We'll have the second reading Monday night, same time that we have our tax uh, ordinance reading, second reading. Okay. Um, I will give you some information. I have one other item I want to cover, but I will give you information that our wastewater meter is in use. Um, we're going to start, since the uh, regional wastewater measures from the 15th of the month to the 15th, then that's what we're going to do. Uh, they have a SIM card that they can put in it, and it doesn't have to have a daily reading. It will record it, and, and then we just pull the card out, print out on Excel, and We've got a print out of what our, uh, so it's going to work out real nice by the time we get all the bugs worked out of it. And, um, Hopefully it'll be charged. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody have anything else that you want to bring up? Yeah. Uh, okay. Cracking down on the golf carts a little bit. Little kids and stuff on them. Yeah. It's just, I agree, and I can tell the police, but you know, it's just like people break into your house. They're just going to watch till the police go by, and then they're going to break into your house. You know, they're going to get out there and drive around. I understand, and it seems like whenever they go out, though, uh, everybody's got them parked, you know. But I will put the bee in their ear. Okay. I agree, you know, I've, I've just, a lot of people are not, uh, I mean, they're breaking state law. It's not Hartford ordinance, it's a state law that they're driving carts that are not legal. Get Barney Clyde on it, either. <laughs> citizen's arrest. No, you know Barney Clyde, yeah, don't no, you? I know, I know. We'll start making some citizen's arrest. Dave. All right, does anybody notice, else have anything? I did notice they closed the gates at some, on Oakwood Drive, the cemetery. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed they. Yeah, yep, then they were going up by the water tank going in that way, so. <laughs> How many permits have been issued for golf carts? Uh, one. Well, there must be 300. Golly. I think there's only one that's been Tony's. I don't know what's done it. Wow. Well, he's, he's afraid one of them catching them. It's squealed on that. I know you. <laughs> okay. Does anybody have anything else? I want to bring up. McMurtry. Okay. Repaving. I mean, yeah. Paving it. Uh, Tony was in the other the other meeting, and he said that they were going to instruct all of their um, people that you know were working on the hospital to use Gillespie okay. as their in and out. All right. So I can't see any reason why that we now cannot go ahead and pay McMurtry yeah. from uh, one end to the other. I'll have to advertise it because it's going to be over 30000 so we'll have to advertise. Kirk Street is pretty rough. Too. Well, we're Do why? Kirk Street. Kirk Street. Oh, yeah. Kirk, yeah. Peach. Uh, so is uh, Walker Street that Walker, goes over yeah. to yeah. Ellis Park. So, yeah. So Smith Street could be redone. That's I've got a list of a dozen of them that could be redone. It's just a matter of how much before my money runs out, you know. <laughs> but uh, they're all big enough now. I, you know, the West Center Street and Apple Alley down behind the Peach news Alley. office, those have been resurfaced there, but they were, they were not uh, at the down. price where they need to be bid. But the others, I'm going to have to bid them out. So. The state going to help us on that? 
Do what? Is the state going to help us on blacktop? Uh, the state is going to do Clay Street. The state's going to do Clay Street from 69 up to East Union. Uh, that's in the works. It's about a hundred eight, hundred ten thousand dollar project. But we've got to do some things. We've done some ditching, but we've got to raise all of our manhole covers up so they're like an inch above, so that they can be flush whenever they get through. But yeah. that's in the works. It may be next spring would before they, they do, do it. What now? Would the state do the sidewalks with that job? Do the sidewalks. Do the sidewalks. That job? Oh. Uh, no, that, I don't think the state will do that. That'll have to be a separate, separate project. That uh, state will just do the, the road. They don't even do the ditches. The ditches are our responsibility. That's all the state transportation cabinet will do. There used to be a federal law that says if federal funds were spent on the road, they are to include sidewalks. Now, I don't know if that law's still on the book. Guess I'll have to find out. Yeah, I don't know. I'll get I'll get our attorney to look into it. All right, you can do that. Well, if it's a federal law, but it's state funds. Probably more efficient than that would be. <laughs> okay. Does anybody else have anything? I'd like a motion to go into closed session to discuss land acquisition or sale. I make a motion. We'll go into closed session. I'll second. Into closed session. Okay, second. Second over All in favor? Okay. No decision will be made tonight, so you're safe. Yeah.